Okay, hey everyone. I just wanted to make a really quick video about using Mastodon. Um, I want to make a much longer video because I really like Mastodon and what it is and how it works. And I realize there are some things confusing some people and I just wanted to clear it up because I think um, things like videos are kind of an easy way to do that. Um, so this is going to be a little fast and sloppy versus the one I want to make later. So long story short, Mastodon is a decentralized blogging network. Um, it, in terms of how it appears and functions, it, and you interface with it, it's, you know, similar to Twitter with some kind of Facebook-y features that I like. Um, but how it works is there are instances. And instances are kind, I kind of think of it like email uh, providers. Like there's Gmail is one, there Yahoo is another, and Hotmail is another. And even though they're separate entities, they can communicate with each other. Um, and that is sort of how instances uh, work. Like here is mastodon.social. This is a single instance. Um, then there's mastodon.art and there's some comic ones. And if you go to this, the instance list, <laughs> the instance list, uh, here we have a bunch of lists, uh, well, one list of a bunch of instances. And these are basically separately hosted instances of the implementation of a Mastodon. Um, so here's one called Cosplay LA. I assume it's cosplay related. Um, and it shows you that it's stable. It tells you how many people are in it. Um, the reason I'm doing, I'm talking about this specifically right now is because if you use, uh, if you've heard Mastodon Social seems to be the primary one because um, I believe it was the first one. Um, it has been under a lot of stress due to all the new users and that's unnecessary because as you can see there are a lot of stable um, instances. Well here's one, I think I just passed one that wasn't stable here, intermittent. So the, it's not very stable there. And you can see some have 700 people, some have only six. And I know, I think people are reluctant to join a um, uh, Mastodon that is smaller or new um, but the fact of the matter is um, why this really doesn't matter which Mastodon you visit um, because they can like those emails that Yahoo is separate from Google so Mastodon.social is separate from Mastodon.art they can still communicate with each other um, there are people who follow me on Mastodon and I guess I can log in uh, where did I go? Where did it go? <laughs> so, um, let me log, log in real quick. Oh no, my dirty secrets. Oh, um, let me turn this off. I actually have, um, special styling applied to mine so I can see it better. But yeah, long story short, this is, a. Uh, I am followed by, uh, accounts that are here is one account. It's a dot art account, but they're able to follow my dot social account. You can have, for, so if you sign up and uh, you see that Mastodon dot social is actually at peak capacity, you don't have to sign up to Mastodon social to have a Mastodon account and follow all the accounts you want. You can sign up to any of these instances and you can follow people who um, are on any, you can follow any of these feeds. Now, I, it will be helpful to pick one that you kind of fit in with a little just because there will be a public feed. Let, let me go back to my account. And um, this is the local timeline. This shows um, every single public post that is being posted within this specific um, uh, <laughs> Mastodon instance, this dot social one. Consequently, the subject matter is all over the place. However, um, if you were to go to a, a community that very specifically is meant to be like about comics or about video games, this local timeline might be more specific to your interests. Um, and it actually might be why I might move from Mastodon.social to another instance at some point, because I might actually want to talk to people who work in games um, and or other comic makers and maybe I want my local timeline to be made up of other comic makers and such. Um, so that is a benefit of picking one. 
But since I'm in dot social, the subject matter is uh, you can maybe tell is all over the place because it's just a general one. It's just social. So I actually consequently I never look at the local timeline. It's it's a borderline dead to me <laughs> in this uh, instance because I'm only interested in a few weird things. <laughs> so uh, I think that's it. Um, that's just my general guide to how to use this thing. Um, and at least in regards to instances, I'll do another video where I get more into it. Like I'm going to make a dummy account to uh, demonstrate some things. But for now, um, if you're going to join Mastodon or a, a Mastodon instance, just take a look at some of the um, available instances. You don't have to join. try to join one that has under a thousand people ideally and has a stable connection as you uh or uh the hosting is stable you know you can just go through and let's say okay i want to look for comics comics i think there's one called comic space um let's see where was it oh yeah there's a new instance there's two new instances. Here is, this is one I was actually looking at possibly joining. This is a comic space .masto .host, and it is comic specific. Um, so hopefully, uh, if you were to join that, you would see more comic related content. And the same with uh, this one. Um, I probably won't be joining this one because they have a known porn rule. Uh, you can actually go into the about and it'll tell you their rules and they say no porn, which, whoops, uh, doesn't work for me, though I do like the no racism and no harassment. So yeah, just uh, go and look at the instances. There's a bunch. Um, if you follow, go to um, under, this This is a tag right here on uh, Mastodon.social called Under a Thousand. And what it basically means is um, it's a hashtag that lists different uh, instances um, that are under a thousand users, uh, therefore they're not at capacity, so they are more stable. And I think the more spread out people are, the more stable Mastodon as a whole will be because everyone isn't hosted on the same uh, instance. Like, I actually plan to um, potentially move to another instance. I actually kind of want to make my own, uh, having been inspired by a lot of this stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that. I hope this was helpful to anyone who's not too familiar with in uh, instances and Mastodon and why everyone shouldn't pile onto the, like Mastodon.social or Mastodon.art or whatever the most popular ones are because aside from what you see in your local timeline, um, it really isn't going to affect your experience because you can follow anybody in any instance. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful and I will make another video soon if it uh, if it helps everybody and I also realize my um it's only now that I realize dun 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 my um capture was off center oh well life goes on <laughs>